basically, I want to emphasize from a particular perspective why we're going through all of these things. Why are we going through the heart of the matter and why are we going through 44 parts of anything? And I think that it came up, something that came up this week when I was talking to a few people, which is there are, in my opinion, there are three different areas of focus that we could have. We can focus on that which is useful, we can focus on that which is interesting, and we can focus on that which is entertaining. And this can also apply to our studies of the Torah, of the Word. You know, there are definitely a whole lot of things in the Torah that are useful, meaning, to me, useful means does it help me to fulfill, fulfill the two great commands? If it's going to help me to learn how to love Him and love you, that's useful. Knowing what He expects me to do and not to do, that's real useful. And so the heart of the matter teaching in, and basically everything that I try to teach is about things that are useful, things that you can actually put to use right away. Now, there's a lot of topics in the, in the scriptures that are interesting, meaning that you may want to understand them and know about them and figure them out, but they don't necessarily have anything to do with what you do. In other words, if you figure it out, it's not going to change how you treat him and how you treat me. It's just going to be answering some questions that were interesting that you had studied in the Word. And there's lots of things that are interesting in the Word. Oh, I wonder why he said that, or why that happened, or why that event played out the way it played out. Those are interesting things. And so, you may want to study things that are interesting, but I think that you should probably spend more time on that which is useful, okay, functional, that you can apply right away. Then, of course, there are things that are entertaining, all right? And some of the interesting things, the reason you focus on them is because you find them entertaining. In other words, you, it gets your kind of excitement going. It, 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 you enjoy it. You know, that's why a lot of people get focused on end times and some of those other things that, you know, with the end time eschatology because, it, you know, you, you enjoy it. It's an enjoyment level. Because sometimes things are interesting. It's not so much that you enjoy it. It's just a, a little itch that needs to be scratched because you say, mm, I wonder why that is. And so you focus on some of those things. But the entertaining ones are the ones that you just, you just enjoy. It's just, I don't know, I just love digging into those things. But be careful that you don't get out of balance. Okay, there needs to be a proper balance between the useful, the interesting, and the entertaining. Okay, the heart of the matter is focused almost 100% on that which is useful. That's why there's 44 parts. Because the heart is the matter. The heart is the problem. And getting the heart situations understood correctly will affect how you treat him and how you treat each other. Okay? And so that is the key. You must figure out how to treat him and how to treat each other. Because Yeshua did say those are the two great commands that everything else hangs from. And we read that in one of the previous parts. So I just wanted to put that out there. I thought that would be something that also could be cut out as a separate thing. But, you know, most of your time should be focused on the useful. And so you must ask yourself the question when you're focusing on things, am I focusing on this because I'm enjoying it, because it's interesting, or because it's actually useful? And let's just make sure we're clear on that. Because figuring out, and we're going to talk about this today at some point, it's part of the, one of the verses, figuring out his, his arrival date, okay, is actually not very useful. Knowing that he's coming someday is useful because you need to start living your life knowing he's coming. Okay, you also need to be living your life not knowing exactly when he's coming so you can be prepared at all times. But there's a lot of things that can be interesting or entertaining that can distract us, and that's the main point. Don't be distracted focusing more of your time on those things than that which is actually functional and useful.